What's up? Welcome back, guys. We've got more Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen here on the channel. Game on. We're always just gaming on. Having a great weekend. We had a great week. I hope you guys are having a great week, too. So, we're messing around Bitter Black Isle, just trying to get some weapons and some cool stuff and seeing how far we can go. Everything's really hard. We're almost out of healing items. One of our pawns doesn't even have a weapon. I can't believe I did that. <clears throat> and he's our main pawn, too. He's basically just a pack horse at this point. But we're just going to keep going. We're going to see how far we can get her. Now, I do want to go backtrack a little bit because we did have another section of this level that we didn't explore. Where's that? Oh, looks like it's just this little spot right there, really. Go scope it out really quick. Foreign Waste Guard. Anytime this game wants to go ahead and give us a weapon here for our pawn, that would be sweet. Foreign Waste Guard. Skirt-like leg armor from a faraway land that recalls some ancient civilization. It's not very good compared to what we have. So we're keeping what we got. Ooh, our DV climbed up here like it was going to do something. Trying to keep one of their staffs off them. Those guys are dead. Jerry's a beast. Bitter Black Novelty 1. There we go. That was awesome. Good thing we came over here. Is there a lever we can pull to open something here? Our chest. Goddess cameo. There's no lever. Yeah, there's gotta be. It's right up there. Oh, how do I get up there? Uh, What's that? That's the, uh... Forgotten Arcanium. I've never even heard of that before. Conqueror's Parapet. She's quite the intricate. Lucky is the pawn able to fight at the arisen side. Angel's perfect. Thankful. The former property of a skeleton source were used in crafting weapons and armor. Bit of black novelty, level one. Quite the intricate maze of passages. So those must be random loot spawns because. Didn't we get one of those before? We must have, but I think we died. Oh, you messed up my jump, lady. You guys just need this. Get away from me for a minute. Oh, almost had it. I don't know if we'll be able to get that. Let's see. We don't have time it right. Get the out of my way. Oh. I'll take that. Hex runes. Oh, I think. I didn't get it. Ugh, get off me. Very well, find get. most. Go. I'll have a look around. Oh, you pissed me off, Gore. Hell away from me. So this camera pisses me off too. I don't know, I got really close the first few times, now it's a pain in the ass. Ah, oh, fuck you, Gore. Let's try it one more time, we'll go. Oh, I caught it! No fucking way. Oh, that was sick, guys. I think that's the only way to do it. Yeah, that's the only way you can get up here is by doing that. Unless there's a little something there that you can jump on top of. There's no other way to do it. That's sick. So cool. So save the game, which we just did that. Man. Under pressure, one last time. Boom. That's why that double jump is just so freaking good. Okay. 
good though. Now, let's continue our exploration. You guys took the easy way up. Yeah, I mean, if you want to explore the lands, I would say the Strider is probably the best character to run around with. Obviously, as you can tell, there's so many things in here that we'd have to double jump to that if you didn't have that double jump as the Strider, then we'd be screwed. So you definitely want to play as the Strider at some point to get that. Turn our lantern back on. Oh, it is on. Let's fill it up with oil. Smell. Oh, I've been so uh -oh. Oh. I had hoped to leave oh. this life held in your strong arms. This looks interesting. Man. Oh. Those are really heart-wrenching and depressing excerpts. Gore Cyclops. Yeah, a Gore Cyclops. Okay, shoot. Um, whatever, we're not gonna fight that right now, I'll tell you that. Get the hell away from him. What's this? Rancid bait bait. Do not strike it. Who said that? Do not strike it. Come here. Come here. Come here. It is possible to fall prey to an ailment without ever noticing. Stay vigilant. <laughs> oh, Bitter Black Gear 1. Awesome. So that's like armor, weapons, and stuff like that. I think it'll be a random. Oh, God. Maggots. Oh. <laughs> Had to be maggots. Oh. What is that? Conqueror's parapet? It's fine. Should you guys deal with the maggots? Lift stone, just in case you're almost dead. You gotta get out of here quick. Who's poisoned? the poison oh my god whoa <laughs> that was crazy even the magic was early I've been stricken leaf worm that's what they're called leaf worms <laughs> can't die here Oh my god, there's more of them. How the hell? Oh, they just keep respawning here? Let's get up. Get up, Moa Poison! Yeah, they just Poison. keep respawning. Let's get out of here. Come that on, guys. Come on. I know we're poisoned, we just gotta run. Uh. Gotta give up a lot of this stuff to these guys because we have other things that can cure poison also. Are you all right, Master? I'll neutralize the poison. This will draw out the toxins. But don't worry. You're sweet, I but I gave that to you to use. So let's all get out of that. I'm gonna use mine. Now who else needs one? Uh, Gore does. I think he's the last one. Bills are cured. <sighs> so. Quick park one. Let's go see what's up out here. What the? Whoa. Get out of that red circle. Red circle doesn't seem any good. Two arms are risen. 
I don't care about that door side, Pops. I want that guy right there. Turn. Ah. No. No, why'd you do that? God dang it. Look at how much health he has, guys. Get up here, quick. No. Get the hell away from him. Okay, run. Run now. Follow me. Very well. Come on. I'm on my way. You like it? Enough. Catch you guys, I've got like no health. Like no healing items, really. But one eye. We're not shooting him. Leave him alone. We're gonna try to get this damn gargoyle. Where's he at? Oh god, there he is. There. Perhaps we do well not to disturb the bird is as slow as it is large. Look at the miasma. Get away from him, Jerry. I cannot uh -oh. much more. Got it off the board. Come on. Give him some healing, some kind of healing. Do I have any group healing here I can use? Not really. Oh, he's all the way down there. 
Stone to get out of here. Hurry! Right. Don't let him strike us quick, quick. Oh, I think we made it. So we got a void key. The hell was that for? He's a poor crystal. One can reach it from. Oh, we all made it out of there. That was lucky. So, first thing we gotta fix is who's the idiot that didn't equip his main pawn with a weapon? Can't believe that. Arthur head is long enough. In my early, it entreated. Upon hearing her words, I it felt as if, as if that voice had been my own. For now, my course is unchanged. I, if there is aught I can do, say. Man, I really have like no weapons for a sorcerer. Rusted arc staff, that's the only one. <laughs> that's literally the only weapon he gets? Shoot. That sucks. I mean, we're gonna go get something better than that for him. I, we're not gonna do that. I'm just surprised that I don't have something better already. Oh man, let's see here. Huh. <laughs> okay. If there is aught I can do, say it. Well, let's deposit a bunch of stuff here. A hunk of rancid bait meat, a hunk of flesh with dawn with a sticky sweet aroma. Place it within an area of bitter black owl to increase the chance of carrion feeding monsters to appear. Okay. It's kind of strange. I think that. Put all these in there. All those blast arrows might come in handy. Whoops. I don't know what that serenity extract is. Void key operates a device, the key that opens a unique door in the labyrinth beneath Bitter Black Isle. Nice, we have a bunch of these Bitter Black Novelties, gear, and novelty level 3. Whoops. I didn't really see what that armor was. Item retrieved from a giant undead corpse used in crafting. Leaper and jelly used in crafting. Everybody's all cleared out except me. I've got a ton of stuff. But for the oh, here's more. I basically have like forty pounds of curatives. If there is aught I can do, for now my course is unchanged. 
Let's I shall. Uh, okay, so let's purify some of this stuff here, guys. Oof. Let's do all of this stuff first for 1600. Month dried harp spud has been purified. A harp spud dried for a moon's turn to condense its nutrients. Consume it to slightly raise your maximum stamina for a limited time. Rancid bait meat. Okay, we know what that is. Virtuoso ring. A ring that augments basic attributes. Boost dark resistance by 10, blind resistance by 28. Virtuoso ring. Boost maximum stamina by 50 and holy resistance by 10. That's a good one. Okay, so let's For close that. Courses and, pray. Take and let's equip that one ring. I think that was a good ring. Oh, I don't have it. Where'd it go? Oh, it went straight to storage. That's my right. So all your items that you purify go to storage. So we will continue and finish purifying this last one for 2600. And this is a novelty. Ring of Thrift has been purified. A ring that enables the bearer to sell items at a higher price. <gasps> that is so cool. That is a sick item. Now my course is unchanged. I shall um, help as I am able. If there is aught I can do. If there is aught for net prey. Yeah, it's gonna raise my stamina by fifty. See what happens. It boosts strength and magic. I think those might be better. Oh yeah. Yeah, the virtuous ring isn't that good. So none of that stuff was that good. So let's go and transfer or and fast travel back to Grand Soren, and we're gonna go and get a really good weapon, or the best weapon we can get for our what is he? He's a sorcerer, right? Then I want to make one more run to Bitter Black Isle. We get the skeleton keys and everything like that. Let's have that gate open. What meaning do you suppose those storms have lost? <clears throat> then we'll continue on with the main story. So it'll probably be the rest of this episode, one more episode of Bitter Black Isle, guys. And of course we'll have to go back when we're stronger and fight the actual bosses. <laughs> when we're not going to get wiped off the map in one shot. Why not stay? Take all the time. Grab our usual 30 of those. We've got 40 of these. Because we're not running all across the land, we're fast traveling right to one spot and then get some business done. Just dreadfully easy to wire the way. Hey, do you have anything for a sorcerer? Yeah, something new here. Seekers tights. Sturdy tights that never rip, no matter how long the journey. Good to know. I used to read a book. I had a character called The Seeker of Truth in it. I love that series. Called The Sword of Truth series by Terry Goodkind. It was fantastic. There we go. So we want Grievous. Ooh, it's a good one. 183, 536, 569. It's Ice Enchantment. Its shape pays homage to the infinite stores of magical power within. Interesting. An our staff with widening branches at one end to gather and focus magic power into every attack. An our staff of bronze wrought in the shape of beast horns, the sharpened tip symbolizes dangerous magical power. So that's really cool that all those have their own unique differences. 
So the question is, do we just go with the most expensive frozen tomorrow? Jeez, 127,000. 183 and 536, 569, 171. Yeah, I mean, whatever. I haven't even sold a single thing in this game yet. And I've still got 229,000 gold. So I think we'll be okay. Let's go ahead and enhance this. Then we're going to make some skeleton keys, rest, and go back to Bitter Back Isle. Um, nice. We can go all the way with it, too. Look at that. It gains 9 strength. It gains, oh my gosh, almost 60 magic. Stagger power goes up. Whew. Well, 29. Knockdown power goes up 29. That's burly. And the weight goes down 0.2. So all in all, we're going to spend 200,000 gold on all this. But I think that's going to be a good weapon for our character for a while. Come again. And we can always use it ourselves, too. So I don't mind spending some of that money. I've built up enough of a store that we can always come and sell a bunch of stuff. Your travel preparations complete. We're not doing any escort quests. I hear no window. And I have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? So the stuff to make skeleton keys, if I remember correctly. Oh, are shackles? I don't know if I have any. I, I have to have some shackles here. I know I've just been putting everything into my storage here. So. I don't have any. I don't have any shackles. And I forget where to find some of those skeleton keys. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I knew that I had some shackles. Okay, so we today? can do this a little bit different. We can just combine right here, which is really nice. See how they did that? We can just go in here. Start combining stuff. We got two skeleton keys right there. We'll do one more. So we got three skeleton keys. The Sundering Spirit Tome. Okay, well, we, we've done that one. So far as I know, the shackle is the only thing I know that can make a key. If anybody knows anything else you can make a key with, let me know. And I don't know if I want to waste that on that. It's pretty high-end craftable. Sorry, entail. Font of Constitution. That sounds cool. Oh, that's interesting. The small fish stays good in there, in the storage. What will it be today? Have your pick. Come again soon. What was that? Font of Constitution. And where did it go? Who knows? So. As you wish, Master. We're gonna rest. Just have your pick. What will it be today? And we'll go back to Blue Black Isle. Make sure we equip our Archmage with his staff. helm. A helm that evokes inexhaustible vitality of the Hydra. It continuously restores the health of its wearer. That is sick. Unequip. Oh, returns it to the pond's creator. I can't take it. Of 
course you can't. In the royal mantle. You're such a sick looking character, Gork. But we're gonna have to switch you out, buddy. We're just gonna have to. Yes, well, you'll find not. Find not that I need from you. You'll find not, but thank you very much. Get lost, eh? Let's go to the pawn guild. We're gonna see if we can find another pawn to switch him out with, and then we'll hit Bigger Black Isle again. Also, some weapons can be further enhanced with their aid. It's usually more lively. Oh yeah. This is where we're straight up gonna go three mages. Hello you. What's your level? Hello. 35 is too low. Oops. What about you? Hello. 34 is too low, Saul. No offense. Oh, hey, dwarf. You're an archer? No. Let's go ahead and we'll get inside the rift here and then we'll go see what's up. Gore, it's been nice knowing you. Jerry, you're sticking around. The perfect. Lady, level 40. Hmm. Let's see about top ranked. Oof. Look at all those realm credits. No way. 50. It's going to cost me 9,000 realm credits for a fighter at 50. Nope. 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 Rift crystals, excuse me, not realm credits. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know if I'm going to have one that we can afford. Get that level fifty. Why is that thing? Why is she such a high rank at level five? Everybody else is. Maxed out. Okay, so there's none that I can really afford here. We're just gonna look around and grab one of these guys. It's not you, it's not you. Casca, I want yes, you. Risen. You're level 40 you and you've got the Queen's armor. Without releasing one of your current companions. I am honored to He did so good, we're gonna give him something. knowledge on him. Appearance gets an A, his battle rating gets a pretty good rating, and his helpfulness gets a really good rating. Yep. Stand impressed. Twas well worth may I part. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here guys. When we come back we'll do one more run 
to Bitter Black Isle. Oh, appreciate you watching. I'm Lucky. The channel's Game On, where we just keep on gaming on. Getting excited for Dragon's Dogma 2. It's going to be out in just, I think, three weeks. Less than three weeks now. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace.